the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon update video. In this video, we will be discussing some of the recent news surrounding HBO's new Game of Thrones series, House of the Dragon. As I'm sure most of you already know, HBO has renewed House of the Dragon for its second season already. This was announced almost immediately after its first episode aired on HBO and HBO Max. Not only were the ratings very high for the first episode, but it seems those numbers are growing larger with each new episode. So it's no wonder HBO is already looking ahead to House of the Dragon's second season. Earlier this week, there were some articles suggesting actress Elizabeth Olsen might be joining House of the Dragon next season. As of right now, most fans know her for her work under Marvel's giant umbrella, but I actually know her from a little movie named Wind River. According to an article from WinterIsComing.net, the gossip started when the website Giant Freakin' Robot ran a story stating that Marvel star Elizabeth Olsen is in early discussions with HBO to join House of the Dragon's second season. Now, this website doesn't cite a reliable source such as Variety or Entertainment Weekly, sites who are known for often breaking this kind of news, but instead, they mention that this information is from one of their own inside sources. As of right now, HBO hasn't confirmed any of this. A lot of the fans on social media has run with the story without it being confirmed by the actress herself. We wouldn't be so fast to believe it. As we mentioned, Elizabeth Olsen hasn't said anything about this, nor has anyone who works at HBO. Since we're still so far away from actually seeing House of the Dragon second season, they most likely wouldn't want this news out there just yet anyway. So, even if this is accurate, I doubt we will hear anything from HBO or Elizabeth Olsen right now. What I find even more interesting than this is the other news that's gaining steam on the internet. As for the other breaking news surrounding House of the Dragon's second season, many fans are also saying The Witcher star Henry Cavill will be joining the show. Now, for those of you who might not be that familiar with the name Henry Cavill, he's most known for his role in The Man of Steel. This isn't the only reason why fans want to see him in a show focusing on House Targaryen. Henry is also known for The Witcher series on Netflix. I think ever since fans saw Henry donning the white blonde hair, they wanted to see him on the back of a dragon in a new Game of Thrones series. I mean, just have a look at this guy. Now, I love Matt Smith as much as the next fan, but when I think of Daemon Targaryen, I think of someone like this. His damn jawline looks like it's made out of stone. Now, this is who should be riding on the back of a dragon, incinerating cities all over Westeros. When I hear Rhaenyra say Targaryens are more like gods than men, Again, I think of someone like this, who looks like an actual superhero. I think Henry would look incredible as a member from House Targaryen in House of the Dragon. Now, the only issue is, I don't know who he would be. HBO has already found actors for Viserys, Daemon, Aegon, Aemond One-Eye, and many other Targaryens who were alive during the Dance of the Dragons. If they did bring Henry into the show, I'm not exactly sure what house he would be from. Again, none of this is confirmed anyway, but it's always fun to speculate about these things. Now, in other recent news, actress Natalie Emanuel, who was Missandei on Game of Thrones, had something to say about House of the Dragon. I know a lot of you like hearing whenever the Game of Thrones actors have something to say about the new show. Have you shot your final scenes yet, and are you happy with how things ended? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say yes. You didn't say yes. Best season ever! <laughs> Without telling us anything, because I know you can't, are you all happy with the way you think, with the outcome of the show? Unbelievable. Yeah. Personally, are you just the biggest rock band I've ever seen? The fray, it's a little bit Avengers Assemble, it's a little bit kind of like. Well, that was totally what season seven was all about, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, character development? <laughs> Lob it all Story. in. Story! <laughs> but it. I really need to shut up. You're brave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't know but no, but, no, but no, that's what Joe's not going to be in Star Wars. No, but this I couldn't let you go without asking you a little question about Game of Thrones. Sure. If you could describe the season finale of Game of Thrones in one word, how would you describe it? Disappointing.
The article says Natalie Emanuel, who was Missandei on Game of Thrones, offers advice to House of the Dragons actors. House of the Dragons HBO debut set a record for the network and its streaming service HBO Max. Their debut drew millions and millions of fans across linear and streaming services, leading to a speedy renewal for its second season. While the series may have a long way to go before matching the legacy of Game of Thrones, which essentially dominated conversations around television and pop culture in its later years, this great start indicates the drama could grow into a juggernaut of its own. That would launch many of the House of the Dragons actors into a higher level of fame, leading to more opportunities and a more fervent fan base. That could be a lot to adjust to, since for some of the cast, this will mark their first roles on such a global scale. Emmanuel, who was in Game of Thrones for most of its run, starring as Missandei from Season 3 until the final season, was asked by The Hollywood Reporter what advice she'd give to House of the Dragons Ensemble. The actress says she hopes that the new show is a big success, and stresses the importance of the cast sticking together as a way of dealing with their newfound fame. In a statement down below, she said, I'm sure they already know, but this fan base, phew, they are passionate, and they are amazing. And who knows how this series will be received, but I hope it's a huge success. And if it is, it's an experience, and it will be an adjustment for sure. If you're not used to that level of attention or recognition, it's definitely something. So I guess my advice would be just to enjoy it and look to each other. It was really important that we, as a group, went through all of that together and held each other down. And we, as fans, should note that, for as much controversy as the Game of Thrones finale generated, the actors and actresses was mostly skilled at keeping the focus on the storylines and the characters. Now, the fans could disagree vehemently about the storytelling decisions, and they often did, but the focus remained largely on the expansive, adapted world of George R. R. Martin's novels. While it's still early yet, House of the Dragons Ensemble has a good example to follow. Let me know what all of you think about this down below. How many of you would actually like to see Elizabeth Olsen or Henry Cavill on the show next season? Do any of you actually think they would be a good fit? And if so, what character should they fill? I'm wondering what all of you think. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching my video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.